In this video, I am going to discuss with you how to solve the share market question which will be given for your second part table. For that, as my first example, I have taken a small example where the investment is given as rupees 100,000 and the nominal value of a share is 20 rupees. That means a person can purchase any number of shares from a particular business for 20 rupees. First question, we have to calculate the number of shares the person can buy. If the investment is given and that investment can be used to purchase number of shares, for this value, that means we can divide the investment by the price of one share, 20 rupees, and find number of shares he can buy. So we get 5,000 for 100,000 rupees. The person can purchase 5,000 shares. After purchasing that amount of shares, after one year, the company is going to pay a dividend of 3 rupees. That means a dividend value of 3 rupees is paid for each and every share the person has purchased. To find dividend income, we have to multiply number of shares by dividend per share. That means the value the company is going to pay for one share. This payment is given after one year. That means we are calculating annual dividend income. Annual dividend income will be number of shares into dividend per share. So here we get 15,000. After one year, after gaining this dividend income, the person can sell all these shares for a value of 22 rupees. That means there is a difference of 2 rupees. That will be an additional gain. That is called capital gain. The gain for one share is 2 rupees. Because the difference is 2 and the difference is for only one share. To find the capital gain, we have to multiply that difference by number of shares because he will receive that difference of 2 rupees or an additional amount of 2 rupees for these shares. Capital gain is number of shares into the additional amount 22 minus 20, 2 rupees. This capital gain is 10,000. This value is the difference of buying price and selling price of a share. Since this is for one share, we have to multiply that by number of shares. This is my second example regarding share market. In this problem, they have given the investment as 500,000 rupees and nominal value of a share is 25 rupees. That means any person can purchase any number of shares where the value of a share is 25 rupees. In this problem, this person is going to purchase certain number of shares by paying 500,000 rupees. First question, they ask him to find the number of shares. Number of shares he can buy five hundred thousand must be divided by value of one share twenty-five. So that is twenty-five times one, twenty-five times two, twenty thousand shares. After purchasing these 20,000 shares, 
after one year the person will receive a dividend income that dividend income is the product of dividend paid by a particular company for one share and number of shares in this problem they have given the dividend income the dividend income is 80000 rupees that means the product of number of shares and dividend per share is given 80000 rupees what we want is dividend per share so we can write dividend per share let's take it as x into number of shares answer is 80000 so when we divide both sides by 20000 we will get the value of x So x is four. That means dividend per share is four rupees. As third part, they are asking the selling price of a share after gaining this annual dividend income eighty thousand rupees. This person has sold all these 20,000 shares and gained a profit of 100,000 rupees. This is the profit, not the final selling price. That means after investing 500,000 rupees, he is going to sell all of these shares for 600,000 rupees. 600,000 is the sum of 500,000 and 100,000. Using that value, we can calculate the price of one share. This should be selling price. Selling price of a share equals invested amount plus capital gain. That is the total selling price of all shares divided by number of shares going to sell 20,000. Three zeros and the zero. We get that value as 30 rupees. The purchase price of a share was 25 rupees and selling price is 30 rupees.